So I want to say um, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening to you, wherever you are watching me across the globe. So, a lot of people keep wondering, why do I start my videos with that greeting? Because you guys are everywhere, you know, you guys are everywhere. And time zone is different. I'm at, like, I'm in morning here now. You guys are maybe in afternoon or evening wherever you are so it's appro only appropriate that i say that to you so that you can pick the greetings for which of us suits you where you are meanwhile i i those of us in nigeria i i i, 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 I like this sun is are you guys finding it funny right me i'm not finding it funny this sun here oh my god and i'm sure that some of you are in a region where it's extremely cold so let me say I go on to to we in Niger, <laughs> and the people of um, abroad that is a very cold region. I go to to shake up for you. Like really, I really, I really wish we can exchange the Otutu right now. Like, can we have the Otutu here in Niger? Don't you really give a pain? Ah, what what? I'm a dark woman, but I'm getting darker like a Ghanaian. I'm beginning to have that Ghanaian dark. You know, Shelly, oh, you're funny. And you know, we we walk in the sun. I walk in the sun. I'm much with this. So, kill a vicious life. It's just that's by the way anyway in this very 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 video i have a good news for you guys so it's hey are you guys ready for my new splash like i got breaking news so you see my headline say breaking news <laughs> i hope i'll not give somebody a attention i'm always having breaking news all i shall know me like well it's breaking news actually all right so today as you all know me that i try to bring you informations that a lot of realtors will not bring to you or maybe they will forget bringing it to you if you guys remember this estate beach front so this is i'm at beach front park and garden one we have two and it's after two two is that way and after two is where we have we now had um queen's garden which is of course sold out so all of these estates are sold out now a lot of you have called me goodness what's up what's happening in fact i i came to a fact uh, a factual realization recently that the videos i put out on this channel is basically not meant for people who bought from me only in fact maybe it's meant for people that bought from me maybe 10 percent of them but a lot of you people who watch this video my videos because of the kind of information i bring and the kind of updates that i bring you guys bought from other realtors which is fantastic by the way but you still come to my channel to get information and i find out very interested and I, I i i it's it's positive for me yes yes it's positive some people will say it's not for me i look at things differently okay so for me that is a positive angle because it means you're getting value from me even though you didn't buy from me but you're getting value from me maybe you're not getting enough value from the person that you bought from but you're getting some value and i'm happy to give you some value irrespective okay so i'm so happy that i'm able to be a source of information for lot of you out there that i don't even don't know okay so now for the sake of that and writing on that that gives so that gives me more reason to do what i'm doing okay so and i won't stop doing what i'm doing like i said all of you now some of you a lot of you now know me that i'm a very real person trust me i'm not reiterating it because i just want to but because i just need you guys to know that yes and i go ahead to put action to back up that i'm a real person like i'm very real except if i don't have access to that information that will help you that's only when i will not put it out there no matter how um not so pleasant in my sound i'm going to put it out there all right so today i want to tell you guys what is happening about this estate i know a lot of you don't know and a lot of you have so going back to it a lot of you have called me goodness what's up now what's happening with this big front one you guys have sold it you have moved to the second one you have moved to the third one it's as if we abandoned it no hell no we didn't abandon it the investment and that we have abandoned you guys i mean me and the company so i kept i'm keeping up on date on all the updates so i'm bringing you an update so what's the breaking news right now guys allocation is next week Yo! 
Let me dance a bit. That information is is what dancing for. That information is what dancing. Why am I? I forgot my speaker at home. I need to dance so at this point. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind. Abu, we need to go and learn new dances. Then. <laughs> okay, that's just right away. <laughs> yes, I did to dance. Yes, finally, the much awaited allocation for beachfront park and garden worn is going to be coming on this next Saturday. So, today, not today, of course, if it's today, you just seen it. So, come 27th of March 2021. Allocation the very first and very first very first batch of allocation is gonna be happening right there now before I go further to say much Let's go inside go and come inside with me to come and see what is actually ongoing there Yes, they have to remove this interlocking because trucks have to come in and all of that. So let's just go inside The company has been working tirelessly, non-stop, to ensure that everyone who bought into this estate is being allocated at the due term. And ladies and gentlemen, the due term, of course, is March 2021. Yes, they promised us February. Yes, I'm not going to lie about it. They promised February 2021. But of course, come on, these guys are human beings. They're not machines. Um, one thing or the other led to the other, and they couldn't do it in February. But ladies and gentlemen, February to March is just um, a question of one month. So thank you. That's it. Thank you to the company that they kept to their words. And by this time next week, Saturday, we will all be here having fun at the people who are getting allocated. See, for you to know that I'm serious, and they are serious. See, commercial. Block A2, plot Y! Yay! I, is this one my own? No, I didn't buy a commercial block. By the way, I'm not finished paying my own, so this is not my own. So let's go further. If you look down, 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 see, all the way, all the way down, can you see this pegging? See that one? Block A2, plot 2. Okay? So you see, that's block A1, plot 1. That's block A3, plot 1. All the way down. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Now, I can't go beyond this point, but of course, they're, they'll keep pushing the sand downward and so that people can assess where their plots are. So now, ladies and gentlemen, if your name... So now, let me say this. Come Saturday, like I said, a lot of people were going to be allocated there. And after that allocation, you can come in and start building because number one the title on the land the estate is an excision land it's not an excision in process you remember when i was talking about when i did that video on excision in process when i was talking about how it is important you cannot take access you cannot take possession on a land that is not a title plan because it's not yet nobody does that so now if people get to get allocated by the time they get allocated rather on saturday they can take possession of course they've taken possession here now then they can start building if they want yeah why not you know that's how it works now let me now tell you what we cost you not to be part of you that will be allocated on saturday so that we don't get it twisted you know me i say it's the way it is and i like explaining things word for word and i don't like people mixing things up the only people that are going to be eligible to allocation physical allocation in this estate come next week saturday is the people who have done these things first of four you must have finished paying for the land see i'm being real with you this is not um i'm mean, this is me and you okay you must have finished paying for the land number one number two you must have paid for your documentation which documentation survey and agreement if you have done that the survey and agreement is six hundred thousand. agreement is 100k and survey is 500,000. If you have done that in the past, if you have finished paying for your land and this survey and agreement, there is no reason you will not be getting your allocation in this place on Saturday. So please, if you are one of those people that have a realtor that normally soon, that don't G, go and G soon them with this information. Tell them, hey, buddy, lady, I finished paying 
goodness said allocation is going to be on a certain day on saturday can you get my allocation for me so if you're not in the country this is what you can also do your realtor can represent you like me i have a lot of clients that are in diaspora and for god's sake when we communicate here they can't get they can't of course they can't be in the country so some of them are going to allow, ask me to represent them like without pleasure and some are going to send their family representative because it is a vital vital day now on that day you know some of you we ask me hey, hey i've just finished paying for the land i pay for my survey i pay for my video survey why are they not giving me my season survey and survey now the reason is you need to take possession the truth is if you are not taking physical possession and they're giving you so your survey what if they change their mind physically what you're holding does not work now now okay so we can also get it to work in an illegally but then why going through that trouble so it's a policy here in nigeria mostly in lands like this actually not a buy and build land they give you your survey and deed of assignment on the day of allocation so if you trust your of course i, I always advise you work with a realtor you trust but if you don't want your realtor to be the one to represent you get a family member that you also trust not a family member you trust i know a lot of people who bought land and they don't want their family member to know i know how these things work see even me you know it's not everything you tell your family because you know this sense of entitlement thingy that comes with the nigerian you know i'm sorry i'm in nigeria some of us just think that eh, to is that lesson, so go for me hundred thousand as i don't get it and more invest is the future in now so hello why should i waste money on you anyway that's just valuation so i'm just saying that i get that mentality so if you don't want your family member to represent you let your realtor represent you but of course if you have a family member or a friend that is trusted let them represent you and come and get your physical allocation here you are finally taking protection hey you see all of my job hmm? is this part that gets me super excited because the journey does not really get um the job is not well done if you are not being allocated for me or i don't know about any other realtor you know some of them some of them it's all about getting the money and moving to the next one of course i've told you guys over time over and over rather that see you see this thing i'm doing is a calling that's why people like me are not common it's a calling for me it's a calling you know so i said today you know what i'm gonna come tell you guys that we're ready for allocation let me shout yes so like i said you must have done this let me let me say it again i don't want confusion if you have done these things if you have paid for the land so if you're paying for if you're getting if you're watching me now and you're paying for installments please don't go and call your realtor and say goodness said she can get allocation i didn't say that one though if you are on instrumental payment you cannot be allocated on saturday because you need to pay finish paying for the land then pay for your documentation before you do so now if you're not on installment if you have paid for your land but for some reason you're just relaxed you have not paid for your documentation please yo work 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 jimasu pay you can still i think if you pay between now and monday i think you can still get allocated i'm not sure but I, like i said i think you should be able to get it i'm not sure because you know this survey is not done by the company it's done by the government and i think they said the list in batches but at least try if you make your payment even if you don't get your name into the bat this batch the next batch because the thing is this is so this is how it literally works with landmark that i know is that after they've done the first general allocation like this they now have it in batches so if you don't meet up this batch of allocation this match you can meet up the next batch maybe in the next quarter which can be maybe um, june or something or may i don't know i'm not the end of the company i'm just saying you no know. so don't come and hold me oh, and say she said if you caught me i'll tell you i said maybe it's going it's not a fact i didn't state it as a fact but like i know them i know that they can do it in uh, in batches like in in more well further now queen's park too i've done personally personally i've done different batches of allocation for my clients every week and from the information i even gathered they are doing it every week so if they have 10 people that is ready they go do it for the 10 people no the next 10 people like that like that they do it in batches so if you bought into queen's park and you're here to get allocation and you have paid madam this is me telling you that you should call your agents to tell them to get your allocation and trust me you get because i've gotten in fact i've gotten allocation most of my clients have submitted their building plan they've gotten approval they just in fact some of my clients yes they got their building and um, permits and they're moving to sites next to to go and build that's in my way of father even in sherry not queen's garden in sherry not half clients who are moving to sites already we finalized you know 
and all of these things happen within a month. So what I'm saying to you is, if you're yet to pay for your survey and did over summer here, I charge you to go do that. Go look for the money and pay because it is for you to take a possession. It's important that you take possession. Trust me, it is important. Not that Landmark, which of course now, Landmark is one of the most credible real estate companies that I know in Nigeria, here in Lagos especially. Honestly, they are very, very credible. Trust me, there are some companies I will never, like I was sending someone over the phone yesterday, I goodness, this one, we never, I will never even, they are not even worth me talking about their name, as in pronouncing their name. Yeah, that's how much I will never associate myself with them because one of the reasons I appreciate myself with this brand is because the owner is, when you say someone has integrity, oh lord, yeah, yeah. And integrity, you know integrity these days is in different form. They are packaging integrity. And the, there's the integrity, integrity, go, go. Uh huh. So when me, I'm a woman of integrity, when I see a person that has integrity, go, go, I know it. And over time, rather, times have proved. So now, this is how it's going to also work. They are working simultaneously here. Beachfront 2 and Beachfront and Queen's Park. So if you have bought from Beachfront 2 and you are watching me, you're like, hey, so now Beachfront 1, they do, they not do Beachfront 2. Calm down. These things take time. I, you know me, I'm very real. I'll tell you people. These things take time. It's not magical. The people that own this company, they are human beings like you and there are processes to these things. So if you bought in Beachfront 2 and you're yet to get the allocation date, trust me, they are working tirelessly to give you a date so that they see you see they're being skeptical about giving these dates you know why they don't want to make mistakes they don't want to give you a date and start canceling and canceling and canceling they want to be sure because you know they don't have just this property they have properties everywhere and one of the reasons i love the brand is because simultaneously in different estates you can see work ongoing so some people would have sold out this estate we sold out this estate in august right and some people would have sold it out and see you will not even come and find anything maybe we can even find something you can't even find anything you know and maybe they have their reasons too. I'm not judging anybody. But what I'm saying is, um, if you've paid for everything in Beachfront 2 or in Queen's Garden, hey, hold on. I have clients in Beachfront 2 who has paid for survey as well. But they have, just have to wait to when it gets to their tongue. And so is Queen's Garden. You just have to wait. Let's go by outside. You just have to wait until it gets to your tongue. That's the way it works. So they have a process they are following. And trust me, goodness, man, I would always bring you updates on this estate as it goes. Okay, so as I have more solid information, I'll give you. Like I have a solid information now. So if you're watching me right now, and that's why I quickly did it and I upload, I'm uploading it. I uploaded it so that you can get it. I didn't want you to wait. I had something else I was supposed to upload, but I said this is more important because I know that a lot of you would have paid. And maybe for some reason your realtor got busy and forgot or something or didn't was not so didn't quickly because of their busy uh, extraly busy or for some reason they didn't get their hands hold on the information i don't know so many things might happen but you know me i'm always looking for the information that everybody's not looking for or oh, i don't know what i do it anyway but it's not like i'm not busy too like i'm i'm like even fucked out today i'm really fucked out but i just say you know what it's important that i reach out to you people not just of course people that have bought for me i've reached out to them but for people who have bought and for some reason they didn't get the memo maybe they missed the memo maybe they sent an email to you or for some reason you missed the email or something this video is going to get you to you know work and say i want to get my allocation so you got time to prepare yourself get your friends get your router get your family members to come get ready and represent you on saturday 27th of March, and if for any reason they are going to postpone it of course i'll let you know but like what i said they are set out for 27th of March, and i pray that god will keep us all alive and make it possible on that day and um, everyone gets their location don't forget to if you have not paid your land finish if you never pay for land finish and you don't pay for something you don't pay for deed okay madam no allocation for you i've explained why so those that will be allocated on Saturday are only people that pay for these fees. Uh -huh. Because don't come and come be calling me and saying, hey, uh, 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 please oh, don't do that. Please, I'm begging you. Only for those who have finished making their payments. And like I said, it's the way, that's the way it works. Okay? It's just like you buying a car now. And you're just you just bought a car and you didn't go to FLRS to get your documents or VI office to get your document, the papers. And you say you want to be driving the car. If they arrest you, you're not the owner of the car. In fact, if they steal the car, oh Lord, yeah, something like that happened recently. Somebody was going to, so, so the person bought the car and got it home and asked someone to go to go get the papers. On the way, she went to get the papers and I don't know, for, I don't know what happened, but she shall lost the papers. 
even with the original so she took the original of the car the document original of the car the importation everything and when we had to go to the vio office and do all that and she lost everything and unfortunately also they stole the car so he's like he was just messed up and he was just it was not the hand of the devil that's me and what i said this is just devil involved because i don't get it who go house with original of the paper of the car when you want to get it i don't know you just have to so i'm using that illustration to show you that you cannot get allocation if you have not paid for deed and assignment deed of assignment and solve it excuse me and like i normally say that this is for your own good you want to get allocated on the land that the, the survey is not in your hand do you know how powerful survey and deed of assignment is see did you know you paying for the land is not the only thing though. it's not the the con the deed of assignment is what binds you between the company and yourself that's the agreement that's the solid thing and that's why some people get agitated when they're here to get their deed of assignment because they feel like they feel unresting because they feel like the deal is not yet done i don't have claim over this and this thing is not yet my own yeah you're right but these things also takes time you get so um congratulations to everyone who bought here including myself i'm not getting an allocation on sunday saturday if you are wondering not yet you Hey, I'm still part of people that have not finished paying for the land. Yo, but about some of them last season, oh, I see why. But so, what applies to you applies to moi. <laughs> There's no special treatment, like really, yes. So, you see, I'm a router, I work hand in hand with this company, but I'm buying into this. I invested here with my brother, and I'm not yet done paying for my land, so I will not get allocation yet. My brother is done paying for the land, and he's done paying, he's a big boy, now he has money. And he's not paying for the um, survey and he will get allocation on, on Saturday and he do me like this, he will do me shakara But it's a matter of time, when me too I finish, I'll do my own shakara back That's it <laughs> So, I've used myself for an example now, so I hope I've explained Because I also know that a lot of you don't know these processes And some of these people that you bought it through, they don't take their time Like, they don't, I understand Sha, you know, it's not easy, trust me But what is what doing at all, it's what doing well, unfortunately so they don't take their time to explain the process to you and you are even naive a lot of you are new to this process but some of you are already used to the process so you understand how it works but a lot of you are new so you don't know how it works you don't know how it works you don't understand how it works so i hope i've been able to use this video to explain to you how it works so paraventure you're already going into another deal with another company you're buying a land somewhere that is not actually the lands that are not buy and build buy and build sharp sharp that's the process in fact buy and build self the process is a bit different you know that here nobody's telling you to pay for the uh, development fee before you move into build. Sure you know. But for so for let me talk about Queen's Garden, sure you know. So for Queen's Garden, sure you know, my client yesterday had to pay because he's ready to move to site to be. He's buy and build now. Ransing calls someone, someone calls build right. If you're not calling, oh goodness, all that shit. If you're not building in three months, we won't allow you to buy it. We'll move you. We'll move you like move. You understand so we're encouraging people who wants to buy and so by the way if you're watching me and you're still dealing about because i know a lot of people have reached out you know they're here to make up my mind about a sherry not queen's garden sherry not hey guys you really really need to make up your mind and get on there because it's wrapping up like i keep saying it's wrapping up and i'm not joking one minute of money you wake up and i'll tell you it's a wrap anyway so what i'm explaining is if you buy that you will pay for your deed of assignment you pay for the land bam so um 300 square meter is 10.5 million you pay for it bam you pay for deed so did and survey there is cheaper because it's under Ogun state it's 250k Bere, you pay for that you got to pay for um your architectural drawing you know there's a design there's two designs so you pay 150 for your architectural drawing so everything you're paying apart from the land is 250 plus 150 that's um 400k so you're paying extra 400k unlike here where you're paying extra 600k there you're paying extra 400k by the time you're done paying for the extra 400k they give you your bit architectural drawing and plan and then you get to move to site now before you enter site any one trailer of sand or granite enter into site you have to pay 30 percent at least of your developmental fee so if you're buying a 300 square meter the developmental fee is 1.8 million really so you pay a 30 percent of that amount i think 540 or 530 there about that's what you get to pay and then you can move to site and start building and then you pay the next 30 percent and then pay the next 40 percent that's the way it works now because that's landmark landmark gave you that opportunity other companies some companies that i know let me not say others some companies that i know if you don't pay 100 percent of everything they will not allow you move one one cup of sand like this to your land even though if they have allocated it to you and that's one of the reasons why i i love the brand because they are very um reasonable i don't mean that other people are not reasonable everybody one man's policy for himself apple is different from samsung iphone is different from samsung it's different from infinite it's different from Dick. Technique. Everybody has the way they do their thing. So it doesn't mean that those people that say I want my thing 110% before you do anything does not know what they are doing. 
it's just their policy okay so i'm not putting them down for that it's just their policy apple apple will give you you will buy iphone 11 okay so I, I got a phone for my birthday gift and it only came with the cord it didn't even come with the charger so this is my iphone so i'm just using it to point out my point this is my iphone 11 right 11 pro max came with a charger like a charger an adapter the 11 pro 11 12 pro max did not come with a charger i'm like iphone what is shaming what is shaming if i buy infinix hey my beloved infinix will give you extra let me not talk about infinix let's talk about samsung this is my samsung that i'm using to record came with how many parts of it did you remember how many parts i have in that phone four i mean three three pouch i don't know if it's china now so i don't know if i'm using a samsung china egg by me please tell me no in the comment section three pouch Charger, yeah, peace. Hey, let me not go to Infinis. If I saw Infinis, we give you a pod. <laughs> They'll give you a screen guide. What again did they give you? <laughs> Retard card bonus. <laughs> I'm just buttressing my point that it's just brand, okay? So it's up to you if you choose to buy iPhone or you choose to stick with Samsung or you choose to stick with Techno or Infinix or who are we or uh, you know, other stuff. So it's the same thing with this brand when it comes to um, real estate. All right, so I hope I've been able to help you with this information. So go get ready. And trust me, next week, Saturday, I'm, I'm going to be right here. God, God willing, God give us good health. I'm going to be right here giving you guys all the juicy information. So watch out for my video. I'm going to show you. See, I recapture everything. One thing, I will not miss it. I'll come and give you guys. Me, I like to give you sweet first-hand information. All right, I need to go. <laughs> I have some couple of information. I have. It's special to still run for the day, but I guess I should quickly drop by and do this. So, like I said, if you bought Beach Runs 2, wait, your time will come. I'll keep you abreast. I'll keep you posted. For Queen's Garden, I'll keep you posted. Queen's Garden, we've done two allocations before. So, they are getting, they are moving there. Don't worry, not step by step. So, just calm down. At least this, if so, if you bought into Queen's Park and uh, Queen's Garden and you're watching this video now, so this gives you a level of confidence that this company is going to get you're going to get your land okay so hurry up if you're still paying pay up so that you can get also your allocation i'm equally talking to myself so thank you so much to everybody who watched this video who has trusted me who bought in here who bought in other estates come and buy queen's park in my way of father come and buy queen's garden you sure you not meridian Boli you see that meridian boulevard hey i'm telling you people sure you know i told you guys in meridian boulevard that from here you would drive straight down to meridian boulevard though you buy, see, even if it's 300 square meters, I'm telling you, you don't miss out on it. See, there are so many offers you can't miss. Okay? Real estate is an asset. It's the, it's the most realest asset ever. And it's a good means of growing your net worth. So you can't just buy in beachfront and say, oh, goodness, okay, I've bought just two plots, I've bought six plots here. You need to, you know, diversify your investment. Put your investment in different places and they will keep working for you. And that way, you're growing your net worth you know in a very very fast or very good way okay so i'm personally of the opinion that you don't invest in one estate and say that's it okay you can invest in of course you have invested in the like if you have if you have if you have not then let's look for the next one for you to invest Ekpa is another destination but you need to be careful with the but you know i've been saying it i'll do another video warning you people be careful about which estate you're buying in Ekpa. if you want to buy a land in Ekpa, in call me oh. let me know which one no oh. hey Ekpa is another one no oh. don't go and say Ekpa is safe because safe more Hello, I'll do another video on it. Aja is another destination. There's a, there's a land in Eleko. It's a very fantastic one. There's Mowe of Ada. There's Shimawa. There's Isheri Note. Orishi Rishi, just call me. Let's discuss with one you, you can buy next. So it's like onto the next, onto the next, onto the next. You need to learn how to be a serial investor because you're intentional about growing your network. All right, I hope I've not bored you guys. I hope I've been useful today. Thank you so much for watching and please if you have not subscribed because I know a lot of people call me and they say even though I'm not subscribed I used to watch your video back when I subscribe help a sister <laughs> encourage me and subscribe so that you don't even miss out because some of you call me and say I didn't know Queen's Garden is no longer selling because you did not subscribe if you had subscribed and you turn on your notification button anytime I put a video out there you will be the, one of the first person to know and you will get the information so you see you need to subscribe now so that you get the latest information on time Thank you so much for subscribing. I'll see you guys in my next video. So right now I say, oh, double.